In my time of preparing different gaming content, I'm typically watching different shows. And in those moments, I haven't actually said what those shows were and whether or not if other people should probably watch them as well. But sometimes I have conversations with other individuals and I get really excited about some of these shows and I say, hey, why don't you watch this? And they typically don't know anything about these shows. And one of the shows of which we're going to talk about here today is Sense8. Now, this show actually has been on Netflix for a number of years now, so we're a little late in trying to get the word out about the show. However, to this day, people still don't know about this show, and I believe it'll be doing a great injustice to the show without actually letting you all know of the sheer awesomeness of that show. Now, before we get into this, be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you'll be able to keep up to date on all the future content that we're going to be making here. Because we're going to need more subscribers and the algorithm will kind of get wonky with YouTube. So make sure you are, in fact, liking, sharing, subscribing, and turning on those notifications so we can continue to grow this channel. Now, without further ado, let's get talking about my review of Sense8. No, You speak Swahili. Then how are we understanding each other? As you can see here, we have two different individuals that are meeting, and one is in Seoul and the other one is in Nairobi. Now they're technically asking each other where they are. So this is where it gets kind of a little bit of a mix because you are seeing two individuals of what is known as a cluster. Sensei is about eight different individuals that are connected in some form or fashion, which I'm not going to spoil it for you here, but they are connected in such an intense way that they can actually be present in the world of other members of their cluster. So as you see here, these two individuals are in their respective cities and countries, but yet they are present in person. However, as people are walking by, they only see the one individual that is actually there. They do not see the other individuals. So if you are part of a cluster, you can actually experience other parts of the world just by having another individual and being able to just be present in that entire area, which is phenomenal. Now you may be wondering like, oh, okay, so you're just connected and you can communicate that way. So, so what's so cool about that? But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The whole premise is that they are also connected in a way that what one individual actually experiences, the other individuals as part of that cluster also can experience that as well. Because in some instances, if someone's experiencing pain, the other individuals can also experience that pain. Or if they're super stressed out, they don't really know what to do, then the other individuals are also can be in that same form or fashion. However, at the same token, if you're struggling, you can actually have the others come to help you, but though you are still going to be your own person. For example, let's just say I was actually taking a Korean class and I was about to take an exam in the, for a Korean vocabulary exam. However, let's just say I just didn't study for the entire night and then I'm like, oh no, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So if I just tap into my friend that's over in Korea and then I say, hey, can you take this exam for me? They can therefore just be in my mind and just see this exam and then just say, okay, let's just answer these questions. And it's not necessarily that we have to have a conversation because it can also be a mental connection and mental conversation. And even they can be in your present self and you will be able to understand what their thoughts are and you'll even be able to do the things that they are capable of doing. So the teacher could be sitting in front of the classroom looking at me and I can be answering the questions completely perfectly because as I am tapping into my other person that is in Korea, I am able to answer these questions because at this point I am Korean. But then after that, I go back to me. Awesome. There's even moments when if you're getting into an uh, actual altercation against people and then if you don't actually have the skill to fight and then you have somebody that is part of a fighting clan or somebody that really knows the martial arts, you can really ask them for the help and say,
When you tap into that, you become unstoppable. When people are, that you're facing were saying, you couldn't fight me a moment before, but yet now you can. So, and it's not that you actually are tapping into this all the time. You have to gain control of it. So as we are watching this show, you are watching them develop from the very beginning when they don't even know what the world's going on to where they get even better at it. It is an amazing, amazing show. Definitely watch it. Now, this show is very complicated in such a way. Normally, when I'm actually doing my gaming and things like that, I'm watching the show on the side. If I can manage to divide it up and multitask at the same time. But Sensei is one of those shows that you cannot, absolutely cannot, really divert your attention to other things. There are so many different minuscule details that go into the development of the show, which also, unfortunately, led to the show being over budget. That, in the end, caused the show to do a rapid ending of the series, which was extremely unfortunate because a lot of us wanted more of the series. They did do an amazing closeout at the end of season two, but I believe they kind of had to rush it because when they first canceled it out, they didn't even do that. But fans were so adamant saying, hey, we really need this show to give us the full closure of what in the world is going on. They actually brought the show back for an awesome finale so we can get a full closure of the entire series. And might I say, that ending, the absolute ending was mm. oh, awesome, awesome, Oh my gosh, it was awesome. I believe this show actually touches on a lot of different things that is going on in our world and in, in various countries and the different struggles of people. It's also very good in terms of identifying with the LGBTQ community. It's definitely an awesome show in that regard for people that are like in the closet and then famous but yet trying to come out and things like that or um, being the only different one in the family or you have other individuals that are straight but then actually end up having this connection. It's super intricate in terms of a lot of different things and different struggles of that nature. However, if you're not mature enough, I would definitely say, hey, don't watch it yet. Um, you're just going to have to be mature enough to actually watch the show. Call me a bitch one more time. And I will kill you. Say what? <laughs> bitch. So, I'm telling you this right now. Sensei is an amazing show. Make sure you are going to go ahead and watch it. I give this show definitely a 10 out of 10. You can definitely see the amount of work and money that has gone into this show just by the kind of music that was being used, the amount of footage that was being obtained just for the different areas and different countries. These were actually filmed in those particular locations. This is an absolute amazing, amazing piece of entertainment and i definitely definitely do recommend that you do take the time out to watch it you never know when netflix is actually going to take it off the board so make sure you in fact go and watch it each episode is about one hour long minus the finale and i believe maybe a couple of the episodes might be just over an hour and each season is going to be about 12 episodes long but make sure you do in fact go ahead and watch it it's a phenomenal show and after you finish watching the show, make sure you come back to this video, type in a comment and let me know what you actually thought of the show and things that you actually hope for. And if you don't want to be spoiled, just don't read those comments. Just go ahead and put it in the comments saying you're going to watch it. And I look forward to seeing a future comment of your update of what you thought of the show. So Sensei, definitely a show to watch. Now there are going to be other shows that I am planning on covering here in the nearby future. But if there are any other shows that you would actually think that I should watch as well, be sure to leave that in the comment below as well, and I'll do my best to take a look at it, and it might be featured in one of the future videos. So, without further ado, this is going to be Raikaze signing off. You all know what to do. You stay strong, and you power on. Catch y'all later.